Yo, what's up, guys? Drill here on Drill Game Vlogs. Um, fucking 10 hours, 16 hours Skype calls. I swear to God, my Friday was nothing accomplished. And Saturday will be a little bit more eventful. Now, on my main channel, I should be uploading the Infinite Stratus review today. I thought I could get some to eat. But before I get some to eat, I got some. I guess you could call this a haul. It's like one, two, three, four, about five things. Um, and let's just kind of get into it. Some of the shit, most of the shit, like four of the five of these things came today. Another thing came like yesterday, but I didn't notice it until like two o'clock in the morning, which was a very fun experience, which I will talk about when we get to that thing. But on with all the rambling and shit. And one of these things I told Ginko I would I would unbox because I didn't unbox the first one. But uh, here's the first thing: Pokemon season one, part one, I believe. Uh, this has the first 26 episodes on it. Um, they have, what is it, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Yeah, all you Misty fanboys. You know, the, the one season everybody seems to enjoy, no matter how old you are. Most people seem to enjoy like this season. I think, I think most Pokemon fans love this season. And this is, no, this is everybody's favorite girl. She's like my, I still think about second or third. I just I haven't decided whether Iris is better yet. But, uh, yeah, that's on boxes, bitch. I just realized I hadn't really started collecting any of the, uh, Pokemon anime. And I know season one shouldn't be... Season one and, and Orange Islands won't be a problem. Johto and, Johto and Hoenn is when it gets aggravating. Because I've already looked. Hoenn is hard as... Advanced battle... No, not advanced. Just advanced. But Pokemon Advanced is hard as fuck to find. Um... Johto is missing some episodes on some of its DVDs. So I, there's like no physical way to get all of the Johto DVDs. I think Hoenn has the same issue because of the... I think, obviously, the Porygon shit is missing over here. The Jinx episode is in Johto. The Wishcast Earthquake thing is in Hoenn. And I, I think... And, in for, and for Black and White, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that fucking... Uh, the Team Plasma shit. Here's the box. It's, it's pretty basic. I mean, this is old as fuck. Um, oh, yeah, and they got the Poker Rap on here. It says the Poker Rap's at the bottom. Huh? We got Jigglypuff and his her trolling ass. Yeah, the full length Poker Rap on each DVD. On each DVD? Hmm. Okay. So the first one is Ash and Pikachu. The weird thing is, that's Pikachu's newer design. That's not Pikachu's original design. Pikachu didn't even start looking like that until, like, in the later seasons. So, I find it kind of weird they're using Pikachu's newer design. Then they got, obviously, Team Rocket on the second one. Um. Oh, cool. The Tentacruel episode's on here. The Tentacruel episode's on here. I didn't even notice that. Uh, and then we got the third one that has Brock and Misty on there. I like how Brock has no expression in his face. What is this? He looks so dead. Why does Brock look so dead back there? That just looks weird. Um, let me see if I can tell where this stops at. Uh, I see the primate episode is episode 24, so I'm thinking this probably stops around the fourth gym. Because... Yeah, this probably stops around the fourth gym. You know, I would laugh if the, if, the, if the Ashley episode was, like, the last thing on there. And they got Pikachu on the front disc. Um, Meowth is on the second disc. There's nothing really else to look at in there. And Starmie is on the third disc. Which, I don't know if they have Togepi yet by the time. I don't think they do. But here's Starmie. I kind of would have expected a horsey or something. And I'm a, this goes all with the primate shit, so I'm assuming. Yeah, this is probably up to the gym match. So, like, 25 is probably the Erica fight, and then 26 is Hypno. Which I think I know about the Hypno shit. It's been a minute. But yeah, that's Pokemon. Oh, God. I'm already like four minutes in, and I've just only gotten through Pokemon. They didn't do this right, but fuck it. I don't care. So, yeah, Pokemon. I probably should do that the other way. 
I kind of wish they had like the cool little thing on the side where like the, these would line up. Because these obviously are the single volumes they sold when they first came out. Now to go into the second thing. The second thing is double dipping. And I'm aware of that and I've accepted that. But I don't give a fuck because I like this show. Second A, the DVD Blu-ray combo pack. Now, I have the original, like, 13, 20, what is it? 13? Is it 13 episodes? I don't remember. Yeah, 13 episodes. And I have it on just straight DVD, but I like this. I like Second Ray, so obviously I got it again. Um, this is a little slip cover, which is kind of dumb since I have the fucking... I have the goddamn big-ass limited edition case, so I don't even need this. So this is probably going to go into obscurity. Um, there's nothing really extra on this. Ever. And I like how they mark it on the back. It fits in the peer engagement box. This would be... I really like this cover, though. This is a cute-ass cover. I don't know why. I just, this would be like one of the few main females I like, even though Sukimi is my favorite. Um, I like how they say the Blu-ray has gotten a lot more bouncy. I kind of wish they wouldn't market this as such fan service. Because the fan service isn't as ridiculous as they make it sound like it is. Um, I think it's essentially the, the same as the original release. Yeah, there's nothing different. I mean, the cover is about the same. You got the back, which is essentially the same as this. Yeah, it's essentially the same as this. Also, apparently, for the ones that have that, they have that little thing. Because Blu-ray DVDs don't, aren't as big. See, so look. So they had the thing at the bottom so it wouldn't fall through. So it looks as tall as a DVD. But, you know, DVDs are taller. I don't know why though, because DVDs and Blu-rays in terms of discs, like in terms of the size of the disc, not like the space, but the size of the disc are about the same. So I don't know why they decided to make the blue ones slim as shit. They could have just kept them the same length or just start making DVDs that small too. I don't know, maybe I'm nitpicking, I don't fucking know. I don't know if I'm going to rewatch this. I probably will, because I am a second rate fanboy. And I do really like the first season. So, let me see. They didn't really do much in terms of the, the discs. So, like, Musubi is on the first disc. Tsukuyumi is on the second disc. And then you got the Blu-ray version, which is essentially the same artwork. Which I'm a little disappointed by. And then they got, like, Minato and the girls on this side. Is this is like a flip cover? Yeah, because it only has up to me Tsukuyumi because, you know, Homer and Kazuhana doesn't show up until later. Um, this might be a slip cover. Is it? Yep, it is. So you can, it's, it's a reversible cover. That's what I keep meaning to say. It's like all the girls in like the episodes and then the Blu-ray. Which the Blu-ray has essentially... Yeah. It's all 12 episodes, the same shit. There's nothing really different on either of the DVDs. I kind of like this one more. But I have... I think I have the Tsukuyumi biased on the, the cover. So I'm going to have Musubi have on the first season. I, for those who don't know, I really do like Sekirei's first few episodes. I enjoyed the shit out of Sekirei. Sekirei fanboy. Sekirei for the win. So yeah, Blu-ray for that. I'm already at like almost 10 minutes and I've only gotten through two of the things. Now this next... Oh wait, did this not go in all the way? Oh. Or is it pushing against something? Am I just tripping? I think that's... Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright, the next thing a lot of people told me I should watch as soon as I finish the, uh, like, it's, like if anyone goes look at the comments on my Angel Beat review, a lot of people are like, you should go watch this series. So, I got the first season of it. I could have got the Blu-ray version, but the Blu-ray version was like 60 something dollars, so I said, fuck that. I'm getting the DVD. <sighs> and, um, I guess we're going in with a Kanad. First season, 24 episodes. If I like this, I'll get After Story, and I think it has a movie. This is a Sentai dub, and I'm afraid, and this packaging makes me think it's a stack pack, and if it is, I'm going to be really, really pissed, because I hate stack packs. It's like the DVD wants to forsake me because I didn't get the fucking Blu-ray, and I bet you that's what it is, and that pisses me off, because I don't want to, oh. but I don't know, I know very little about this show. All I know is it has something to do with a guy who's very pessimistic and he kind of hates his life and all this other shit. And he meets this girl and he falls in love with. But I'm like, it's like 24 episodes. So I'm like, 
it can't all be around that. I'm assuming some tragic shit happens at the end because people love the show. Oh, uh, it's fucking. Oh, it's fucking Star Trek. God damn it. I don't know any of these characters. And they put this stupid phone shit in here, which I guess was to prevent the thing from falling off. I'm taking this out. I, I kind of wish it was bubble wrap because I like popping those. I think the only thing I used to do on this, I used to casually chew on this for no goddamn reason. Oh, yeah, because it made the popping noise when you did. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but yeah. I'm a weird fucker. Um, I will go through the DVDs. I'm just really mad. This is a stack pack. I'm so tired of this shit. Kenshin, Kyoto Arc for Kenshin was the same goddamn way, but at least that was an older DVD. Then again, I think this is kind of old too, but yeah, that's the first disc. Oh, fuck it. And I don't know any of the characters, so don't expect me to say any of the names. I'm just assuming the fans of this will know. Here's the second disc. Great, now I gotta flip these bitches upside down because Sentai wants to pull the stack pack bullshit. I wonder if I have an old case I can switch the covers off for. Because if I do, I'm gonna totally do that. This the second disc. It's the third disc. If it's 24 episodes, I'm assuming there's like six discs. I don't know any of these characters. How is this a romance if there's like five characters? Here's the fifth disc. Oh, fuck me. Here's the fifth, fourth disc, my bad. Oh, there are only four discs? Oh, there are only four discs. I guess there's six episodes on each disc. Um, as long as I'm going to go in on this, this probably may not be tonight. I might do this tomorrow. The reason why is because this last show I'm going to show is something I really want to get into. But yeah, Clannad, we'll see how it is. I don't know why the fuck this is stack pack. I should have got the Blu-ray. Oh, well. If I don't like the series, then the Blu-ray would have been a waste of money. Um, and this is American cartoon, but uh, we're at 12 minutes, so the Jetsons, the Jetsons, um... I kind of bought this on a whim, like I bought Tailspin on a whim. I, the, the one thing about the Jetsons, I, I, I like the Jetsons, but I never got that too far in it because this is a whole, this is a really old Hanna Barbera cartoon. Like, it's I should have got like a knife. The real man don't need knives. But, it's like, I never really watched that much. I watched more Flintstones than I did Jetsons. Mainly just because I didn't see Jetsons that often. I mean, it was still pretty prevalent, but, you know. There's an old, I think this is, what, 1920s? This is really old. The Jetsons is a really old cartoon. I still like it. I don't know. Like, I know all the characters, I believe. I know Elroy, uh, George. I think the, I think the wife's name is Jane. I don't remember all the. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember the uh, their daughter's name. Uh, is Elroy the name of his? Is Elroy the name of the dog, or is it the name? Of, and I know Rosie the maid, obviously. Let me see. Yeah, George, Jane, Judy. Oh yeah, his boy's name Elroy. What's the name of the dog, man? I don't remember the name of the dog. No. Okay. I'm rambling now. Is that... Now, how the fuck do you open this? Do I open it this way? Okay, here we go. Oh, they kind of went in on this release. Okay. This is that. This is this. They got, like, some cool artwork. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. It's, like, this kind of cool artwork. Uh... Open this bitch up. Oh, damn. This is going to be hard. There's that. Uh, oh, wow. They went in on this release. My God. They went in on this release. Oh, how the fuck am I supposed to open this? Okay. No oh, shit. I don't know if I can get everything on the... No. Oh, okay. I should have crossed my arms when I did this. But, yeah. That's, that's all the DVDs. I'm shutting this though, because this is kind of a bitch to hold. Alright. I'm not going to really focus that much on the Jetsons purely just because this isn't. Most of you guys don't really give a shit. 
problem. But if you do, I say pick it up. It was actually pretty cheap. It was like $20 or some shit. Especially with that kind of quality. The last thing I have is um, what Ginkgo wanted me to get. Kimi no Tadoke. What is this? Volume 2? Yeah, Volume 2 Premium Edition. This has the next 12 episodes. I think this has the rest of Season 1 in it. And they've already announced they're going to do the Season 2 shit. So I'm looking forward to this because I fucking love this show. Shawko is my girl. Um, I forget the, I forget the rival bitch's name, the girl that's that came up in the like the last few episodes of the first one, the bitch who's like, I like I've been liking Kazeha since like fucking middle school and all this other bullshit. Fuck that bitch. That bitch can go eat a dick. I think the last episode I saw was um, she was talking to Ryu. Sawako was talking to Ryu. And Ryu kind of mentioned the fact that she he he he's in love with Jizuru and um. Kazeha saw them and he has the wrong impression because the old bitch girl told him some bullshit. I like this cover though. This is some really good shit. I like my Kimi no Tudoke. I didn't think I would like this that much. The only thing I, I the only thing I'll say against Kimi no Tudoke is kind of slow paced. Like it's really slow paced. But I love Sawako because she's stupid and she's cute. Okay, so we got Ryu and Chizuru on this first disc. On this first disc cover. And then you have Bitch Maid and Kazuya on this second disc. I, I, I don't like that bitch. I'm sorry. I don't. Fuck that bitch. The discs are probably cool too. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Like some Kimi Antidoke. Oh, they're trying to promote the manga. It's like the manga from Viz. Oh, oh, that looks cool. Free domestic shipping and unique bonus. Oh, you only get the bonus if you fucking... If you order it from NIS. Which I'm not doing because NIS is high as fuck. At least here I can get it at a reasonable price. I got it for like $50, but I spent $12 on fast ass shipping. So I spent 63 compared to the 70 you would have spent just getting it off of the fucking store. And it wasn't worth it. I think these look like some cool bonuses. And they got like the House of Five Leaves, Kind of Not a Kitty. Is that a Cult Academy and Arakawa Under the Bridge Season 2? The only thing I'm going to get is that fucking, uh, what is it, that? I forgot how to pronounce it. It's like that. It's that, it's that show that everyone's been freaking out about that they just got the license to. Uh, about the girl, about the group of friends and like the dead girl and the tragic accident bullshit. Haru Noah, or like Ano, is it Ano Hana? Is that what I'm thinking of? Ano Hana? These are the discs. The discs are pretty basic. Um, I'm getting that because a lot of people have been saying you should get into that. And uh, I know any place has just got the likes of the body. Bada Moni Guitari. I don't know if it's going to have a dub. If it is, I'm definitely getting it then. Because a lot of people said that shit was good too. But yeah. Blu ray and the single discs. And obviously, in NIS fashion, we got to talk about the. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that is... oh. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, son. I like that. That's a nice. That's some nice shit. It's like the little booklet that comes with it. I don't really read as much. And then you got the fucking, you got the main cast and like the weird chibi forms. You know what kills me? Summer goes like the ugliest one you can kind of say. But she's so goddamn cute anyway, so I don't give a fuck. I fucking love this. This is, this is fucking awesome. And they got the dog. Ah, oh, I love this shit. Let me open this up. Actually, I shouldn't because it is kind of spoiled. I'm already going to open up. Who the fuck are these niggas? I see Ping. I see Sabako, Kazuya, Zuru. Oh, her name's Ume. But everyone calls her Kurumi Zawa. They got him like in all these different outfits. And then there's like this character on the side. I don't know who the fuck this is. This is. Toru? Who the fuck is Toru? Fuck Toru. I don't give a fuck. I'll see him later. And who's this girl at the bottom? Haruka Katayama Katayama I don't know those other two but I know everyone else like Ping uh, Ume Oh yeah cause Sawa Sawako calls her Ume-chan uh, Sawako up there in the top right? I don't even know Kazuya Ayane Chizuru Ryu and then Ping yeah. I like these books 
And then they show off like some of the backgrounds and I think this is episode thirteen. This is episode thirteen, so I'm not getting into that. I don't want to look at the spoilers, especially because it's a romance. But cool scenes. I'm gonna skip to the end. Maybe at the end they have like some more extra bonus shit. That ah, no <laughs> spoilers. I'm gonna stick with this. This is beast. I like this. I'm going in. I'm probably gonna go in either on this or Clannad tonight. Pokemon, I'll rewatch eventually. It's honestly not at the top of my list to do because I've seen Pokemon in its entirety. I think the only reason I would probably have to rewatch is fucking. Uh. It's like Sinnoh. And I hate Sinnoh. I'm not even getting Sinnoh on DV. Fuck Sinnoh. But yeah. That's essentially this haul. It took me 20 minutes. 20 fucking minutes to go through all of this shit. So. Fucking paper and trash and all this other dumb shit. But yeah, that's my little mini haul. It's like 5 o'clock. So I'm going to go get something to eat. I got my Pokemon, Kanak, Sekiray, and the Jetsons. And so essentially, that is it. This has been the Vlogs Again for your boy Terrell. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is my second channel, for those who don't know. Link to my first channel in the description. So um, check it out if you want to. What do you think about the things I got? What are your thoughts on the things I got? Because I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen some of this shit. Um, yes, I ended up buying the second rate double dipping. I'm probably going to double dip on Kenichi too because I need to get Kenichi. But that's besides the point I'm just rambling now. So, um, this is fun. I, I'm, I don't know why this ending is so awkward. But anyways, fuck it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Uh... Oh, great. The